Ahoy hoy! <laughs> so you probably noticed uh, I got a haircut today and uh, I thought I'd dress up for the occasion. Yeah. Snazzy. <laughs> so what's going on with planet Earth anyway? You know, I think real soon we might just have to get out of Dodge and vacate this place we call home. Yeah. Leave your cares below. Pull the switch, let's go. <laughs> Destination? Who knows? <laughs> it was October 4th, 1957, when Russian scientists sent up Sputnik 1, the first satellite placed in orbit around the Earth. The people of the world were, well, they were both excited and terrified to hear Sputnik 1's steady beep as they listened and watched for the satellite at dawn and during the evening twilight as it passed overhead. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's pretty scary. The success of Sputnik 1 seemed to have changed the minds of the people uh, regarding the shift in power to the Soviets. The Cold War was on and society during that time was locked in bomb shelters. <laughs> Kinda like today, eh? <laughs> locked down in your own home, damn it. <laughs> Even uh, President John F. Kennedy speaking on civil defense advised American families to build bomb shelters to protect themselves from atomic fallout in the event of a nuclear exchange with the Soviet Union. That was probably due to the 1962 Cuban Missile uh, Crisis, where there was a 13-day political and military standoff over the installation of nuclear-armed Soviet missiles on Cuba. I remember that. <laughs> I mean, I was just a kid. Uh, but, you know, we were all scared. Holy sh**, man, we were scared. With that in mind, I thought I'd make another drink out of this book here, Atomic Cocktails, <laughs> uh, by Karen Brooks, Gideon Bosker, and uh, uh, Reed Darman. Today's offering... A Rocket Man! <laughs> yeah! Rocket man burning through the pit, 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 pit. I don't know what the lyrics I can't remember. So you're probably wondering why it's called Rocket Man. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> it just came out of this book, Atomic Cocktails. So why not? The first ingredient they call for is vodka. So I've got the Russian standard here. We're gonna use one and a half ounces. Followed by uh, Galliano. I'm gonna use Galliano Lafentico. Can't get that here in Canada. Um, Viv, one of my producers, uh, she brought it back from Portugal. Uh, via Spain, was it, Viv? Yeah, via Spain from Stephen. Um, cousin? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, it's 42.3% alcohol volume. You could also use uh, Galliano Vanilla at 30%. Uh, that, that would totally work, guaranteed. Uh, but you need uh, rocket fuel. <laughs> so we're going with uh, Galliano Lafentico, and we want three quarters of an ounce. That's it right there, there, yeah. Uh, lime juice is next. And we want three quarters of an ounce. Come on, that's not the juiciest of limes. I've seen juicier. <laughs> come on, baby. Oh, there, there, here we come. 
usually I can get close to an ounce out of one, oh, there we are, out of one line, but I think I'm in. I think I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Now, the next thing. In the book, they recommend uh, putting all this, your mix, into a blender uh, with a cup of crushed ice, blend it up in the blender into a slush. But you know, I was thinking about that and I was thinking, uh, I got a better way. Now all we want to do is grab some ice and uh, fill up our glass portion of our shaker tin here. And uh, pop a lid on and shake it. <laughs> I was shaking today. Oh, shake it like Elton John. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and I think it's going to be a long, long time. Just that sound brings me round again to find. I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. Ah, uh, not the best uh, rendition, but uh, we're making a cocktail. <laughs> so what we want to do now is grab this space glass. Space glass, yeah, baby. We got to crush some ice. All right, uh, turn this puppy on here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is my ice crusher from the 1970s. <laughs> Don't you love it? It works. It still works. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> it's going to blow, Scotty. <laughs> All right. So. All we want to do here, whoa, <laughs> is uh, fill up this space glass. Yeah. Loving it. Look at all that, those ice crystals from outer space on the counter here. And pour it out. Just strain it out. Sweet. Oh yeah, and it fits perfectly. Now, all we need is some rocket fuel, right? <laughs> I got Gosling's 151, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna lay that on top. Hell, I don't even need a spoon, but yeah, I'll do use a spoon because it looks cool. And we're in outer space. What? What you want about a three quarters of an ounce there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another quarter ounce or so of goslings. Don't need much. Um, over a sugar cube. And we're just gonna let that do its thing there. Yeah. We may need to uh, shut the lights off here um, in order to see this marvelous flame in a moment. And all you do with this wonderful uh, soaked uh, sugar cube, place it on top, light her on fire. And uh, you know, actually maybe we should um, dim the lights. And light her on fire, baby. Oh yeah. How beautiful is that? That's your rocket fuel right there. <laughs> and you know, after a hard day of zooming across the universe, <laughs> blowing up Death Stars, with uh, frying a few aliens with your ray gun, <laughs> you might need a refreshing, stiff cocktail. 
you know, just to put things all in perspective. And with that 151 proof rum, <laughs> you may never come back. <laughs> You'll have enough fuel just to get back. But you know, you might need two of them. Ah! Wow, the rum really pulls it together. This isn't the most wonderful cocktail I've ever experienced in my life by any means. It's okay. It's definitely refreshing, you know, and it definitely is stiff with that 151 proof going on there. Make sure you blow it out if it doesn't go out all on its own, this fire, because otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> Bang! Zoom! Trip to the moon! <laughs> ah, shit, man. Uh, you know, with these glasses, <laughs> I look more like Dame Edna. <laughs> Cheers! And I think it's going to be a long, long time. It's the time bring me round again to find. Hey! <laughs> I'm not the man I am at home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. Yeah! Rocket man. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> that was really, really horrible. Ah, uh, we should do it again. Do I need the helmet? Oh, wait, shit, that ain't working. Oh, shit. all right, hey, let there be light. <laughs> it's really dark in space, let me tell you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad you tuned in, I really am. You know, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that little bell too because that really helps us out a lot. It really does. You'll get notification in your inbox every time we do a new show. Check some other videos out. Make a rocket man! <laughs> Why did I say it like that?